This record collection is all being sold in one hit. This is going to be the most expensive auction result for a record collection sold in Australia. In today's video, I'm going to show you an auction house that's got a massive Sid Chrome collection up for auction. Resellers are all going to be fighting over this stock to list on eBay. With prices like this now selling on eBay, you'll see why people want to get in and know about this auction. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know that you can buy amazing quality items from auctions every single week. This weekend, Australia just set an all-time record for the most expensive record collection ever sold. How much did it sell for? Let's find out. Bidding is currently at $294,000 with 30 seconds up, $314,000 now with a minute to go. With this auction, every time there's a new bid, the time starts again with another minute added to the clock. I've had people tell me that they think this record collection could be worth millions of dollars. You know those people that just seem to have endless amounts of money and they keep buying everything that you want and they keep pushing prices up at auction to the point where you can't afford to buy those items? Then you see those items and people reselling the collectibles that you want to buy for your own collection on eBay to double their money. If you're an auction buyer, you'll know what I mean when I say that you can make millions of dollars buying amazing collectibles at auction that 90% of the general public wouldn't even be aware are coming up for sale. This auction is one of those moments where you can make millions of dollars. It's Australia's largest record collection. It's a one-off opportunity. Sometimes auctions are tough. People have got more money than you. They've got more experience than you. They value the items that they're going to be buying, bidding against you on at a higher rate than you might necessarily think. They might have a better client base where they're able to achieve greater prices for the items that they're reselling. So experience does come into it. Auctions aren't always the best way to go about selling your items. I sold $10,000 lots of records for $200. I was not happy. Where I had over 10,000 records, they lotted them up in lots of 200 and sold them as box of records. They did not advertise what the records were that were in this box lot. They did not pull out any of the records and photograph them and display them. They literally took a photo of the top of the box, said sorted records. That was their description. And they sold. No reserve. You can't put your faith in every auction house because a lot of the auction staff are resellers themselves and they will mislead the public into thinking that items are less valuable than what they're worth because the staff buy the items themselves to resell. You just need to be careful on who you're dealing with. I've lost thousands of dollars dealing with corrupt auction houses. I've also made thousands of dollars dealing with legitimate above board well displaying marketing professional auction houses and the staff determine the prices that you're going to achieve a lot of the times by the way they list photograph and advertise your items i just can't express enough how important it is to pick a good auction house if you're going to be a seller obviously the bad auction houses are great too that's one of the auction houses i can hear it right now they're whinging because i'm talking about them so I've had some really bad experiences. I've had auction houses that have lost $20,000 worth of my stock before. Got to be careful. As far as auctions are concerned, there are literally over 500. How many auction houses in Australia? There are hundreds of auction houses across Australia and there are dozens of auctions held every single week. Every single day, there is an auction going on and you won't even know half of them. This is why it's important as a reseller to do your research and find out where your competition are able to source a lot of their stock. You might see people selling a category of item that you want to resell on eBay, and you're thinking, where are they finding all this stock? They might have things coming in and out and in and out, and they're selling hundreds of items, and you're thinking, wow, I can't even get five. How have they got 500 of this? This auction house that's coming up, it's selling Monday. You literally have 24 hours to watch this video if you want the opportunity of buying amazing eBay stock. So make sure you stick through to the end because this is one of the best places you can source stock in order to flip items for profit. Sid Chrome was an Australian manufactured brand of mechanic tool that used to be strong and wouldn't snap. Everything's become cheap and everyone now in the mechanic game want to buy original Australian made tools. Snap-on are out of people's price ranges. So Sid Chrome is the second best tool behind Snap-on. 
stuff that was made 20 years ago is a lot stronger than stuff made today, which is why Sid Chrome prices are going through the roof. If you're a reseller wanting to make money, this is something that you want to be able to consider moving forward. Sid Chrome tools are one of the fastest selling items, fastest selling items, that's a tongue twister, that you can actually sell on eBay for great profit. The market for vintage Sid Chrome tools has been skyrocketing with collectors and enthusiasts driving up prices for these Australian made classics. Sid Chrome tools, particularly those stamped made in Australia, have become highly sought after treasures prized for their durability and increasing rarity. eBay sellers have caught onto this trend, turning to local auction houses to source these valuable items. By purchasing Sid Chrome tools at auctions, savvy resellers can often acquire them at bargain prices compared to their potential resale value online. The demand for vintage Sid Chrome spans various tool types, from soccer sets and ring spanners to pliers and screwdrivers. Collectors are willing to pay premium prices for well-maintained, rust-free examples, making them virtually gold in the tool world. For eBay sellers, this presents a lucrative opportunity. By carefully selecting quality Sid Chrome tools at auctions and listing them on eBay, they can often turn a significant profit. Some rare or highly desirable pieces can fetch hundreds of dollars, far exceeding their original purchase price. However, success in this market requires knowledge and patience. Sellers must be able to identify authentic vintage Sid Chrome tools, understand their value, and sometimes restore them to maximize their appeal. With the right approach, turning auction house finds into eBay fortune has become a reality for many in the vintage tool market. Resellers who choose to sell via auction like this ultimately depends on factors like the time constraints that they have in order to maximize each individual item for sale and their willingness to research and negotiate individual sales. Whether you choose to sell via auction or on eBay, finding and understanding the value of your items is key to making informed decisions. Vintage made Sid Chrome tools have become a hot commodity on eBay. In essence, the combination of quality, nostalgia, and rarity has made vintage Australian Sid Chrome tools a lucrative niche on eBay, especially for those looking to complete their cherished collections. And if you want to know more, I do have a members-only area on my channel where I go through different auction sites that you can buy items to flip for profit on your eBay store that the general public aren't all aware of. Link in description below. Some rare pressings are fetching astronomical prices. The resurgence of vinyl has created a thriving market for both casual collectors and serious investors. Auctions can create excitement and competition amongst buyers, potentially driving up prices. They also provide a quick way to liquidate an entire collection at once. However, there are drawbacks to consider. Auctions may not always yield the best prices, especially if there's a lack of interested bidders, particularly given the price of this auction. You might miss out on getting top dollar for your rarest pieces. 